Hi, I'm using Idle to do some Python programming and we're just talking about very basic data types and the type that we're talking about right now is a string and we saw in the last class how we could print hello world and we could put anything in between these double quotes and print it to the screen. What if though we want to print something that actually has double quotes in it like Bob says hi. Python is going to get confused because double quote is supposed to be the beginning and the end of the string and it runs into a double quote right in the middle of the string and it doesn't know what to do. Well, there's an easy fix for this. There's more than one option for what to put at the beginning and the end of your string. One thing you could put is a double quote, but you could also go with a single quote. And going with the single quote allows you to have a string inside there that actually has double quotes in it. So that works well. But what if you have inside of your string not only a single quote, but a double quote? Uh, how do we get both of those in there? Well, if we just had a single quote around both of our strings, then we could go back and use double quotes. But if we really want both of those in there, then I have to look for another option. So if I really want single quotes and double quotes, then what could I do? Um, I want something to indicate to Python this is the beginning of the string, this is the end of the string. Well, I could use something um, to escape the character. And in Python, if you use a backslash, you can escape the character. And so what this will say to Python is you'll be looking at your string, looking at your string, and the backslash is going to say, well, we're not at the end of the string. Um, keep going. This is just a normal double quote. And then the same thing here. We've got another backslash. This is just a normal double quote. And then finally we hit the end of the string. And so this ends up doing what we want. We've got a string with single quotes and another string, part of the string with double quotes. Um, there are even more ways to indicate the beginning and the end of a string in Python. Uh, one thing that you might want to do is go on to the next line. So what if I want to say hi and then hit enter and then type in there? Ooh, it doesn't like it that way. But if instead of using a single quote or a double quote, I had a triple double quote or a triple single quote, then it would allow me to have enter right there in the middle of the string. I'm just typing enter and going to the next line. And then when I'm done with my, my quote that has the embedded new line characters in it, I'm going to end it with triple double quote or triple single quote, whatever I need to do to match the beginning of that string. And now it prints to three different lines. Pretty cool. Um, along with putting the backslash character to escape the double quote or the single quote, there are a few other special things you can do with that backslash. We could put in some special characters. Uh, backslash T would be the tab character. Um, backslash N is another way to go to the next line. So we could put a few backslash N's in there. And I need to pick, do I want single quotes or double quotes or triple quotes? triple double quotes or single quotes around my string. I'll pick one and now I've got welcome. There's supposed to be a tab in there too, class. And let me try a couple more tabs to make it more visible. Yep, there's definitely some tabs in there now. And that's just a little bit about strings.